And we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, we are going to now preview the rest of the games for this weekend. Um, We'll start off with the Black Friday game. Uh, Dolphins at the Jets. The Jets are a 10-point underdog at home against the Dolphins. Tim Boyle is going to be getting the start. Jets look like they're... uh, they, They just mailed it in. I mean, especially after the performance against the Bills. Um, yeah, it, it wasn't good. Uh, I mean, the Dolphins, I think, win this game. But I, I don't know. I feel like this game could be close. Because I feel like everyone's just going to ride the Dolphins. Jets got nothing to play for. They're at home. Um, maybe they move the offense. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's Tim Boyle. I mean, I, I don't know. Like, people are like, oh, maybe Tim Boyle could be. It's like, I, Tim Boyle's not good. None of these quarterbacks that they have on their roster, besides Aaron Rodgers when he's healthy, are good. Um, so I, I don't really know. But, I mean, 10 is a lot of points. And I think uh, in the spread pool, my spread pool, right now it's at 9.5. I might ride it. I, I might ride out the Jets here. They keep it close with their defense. Maybe they move the ball a little bit better with Tim Boyle. Because I look at it this way. I, I think any... I think anything is better than Zach Wilson. Um, which, you know, I mean, there might be somebody out there that's worse than Zach Wilson. But, yeah, uh, Zach Wilson just is bad. And, I don't know, maybe they maybe they play better. They keep it close. They force turnovers. I don't know. Um, but I, I think the Dolphins probably still win this game. So, right now I'm leaning towards taking the Jets. Because that's a lot of points. Um, but I don't know. Dolphins could blow them out. We'll see. But I have the I have the Dolphins winning. Uh, so then we got the Steelers and the Bengals. Right now the Bengals are one point underdogs at home. Uh, no Joe Burrow. I like the Steelers to bounce back here. Supposedly it's going to snow. Uh, so that could be a ground game. Um, Steelers have been running the football better. New offensive coordinator. Uh, so, you know, we'll see. But I, I like the Steelers to bounce back here. And then you got the, the Giants and the Patriots. Giants are three-point underdogs. Patriots coming off of a bye. Tommy DeVito throwing three touchdowns uh, last week against Washington. Or this past week, however, whatever you want to say. Uh, I like the Giants to cover. And you know what? I think the Giants win here. The Patriots, I, you know, coming off of a bye. I mean, we'll see how they come out. But... You know, I I have more confidence in the Giants covering than I do them winning, but I, I think the Giants win here. Um, I don't know what the I mean, they could the Patriots could be switching back and forth between quarterbacks, uh, so I, I don't know what the story is with that. They're a mess right now. I mean, the Giants are a mess too, but you know, hey, at least they won. Um, but I like the Giants to cover, and I think you know what, maybe they get another win here. So then we got the Falcons and the Saints. Right now, it's a pick 'em. Uh, Desmond Ritter is going to start, and look, what's going to happen is I'll take the Falcons, and the Saints are going to win. I, I'm i not picking the Saints. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm taking the Falcons. I, I, I can't. I, I keep giving the Saints second, third, fourth chances, and the Falcons right now, I mean, they've lost now three straight games. Um, they're due for a win. They get it here. They win. And if they don't win, again, who's winning this division? Seriously. Um, well, I mean, if they do win, I mean, then the Saints are five and six. They're five and six. And if the Bucks win, uh, they're five and six. So, uh, but I'm going to take the Falcons here. Texans and the Jags. Uh, Texans are one and a half point underdogs. Jags coming in to seven and three. I'm going to take the Texans. I'm going to take the Texans. Um, Jags, I know they they got killed by the Texans earlier in the season. Um, but CJ Stroud is playing really good football right now. The Jags, you know, they had that great they they played well against the Titans, but it's the Titans. Um, you know, and they already lost to the Texans. It's a home game. That crowd is gonna be going crazy. I'll ride the Texans here, but I'll probably be wrong. So uh then we move on to the Colts and the Bucks. Colts are five and five. Bucks are getting two and a half. I think this is the week the Bucks finally get a win. Um, actually, I shouldn't say that because they did beat the Titans a couple weeks ago. But yeah, I mean they've 
They are so they after their three and one start, they have gone one and five in their last six games. That's terrible. Um I think they get a win here. Uh I, I think it'll be a high scoring game. Um but I'll take the Bucks here. And uh they go to five and six. Colts will drop to five and six if that's the case. Then we got the Titans and the Panthers. You got Bryce Young and Will Levis, two rookie quarterbacks going at it. Titans are three and a half point uh, favorites at home. Panthers can't score. Titans, they're due for a win. Give me the Titans. But we'll see. Could this be a game where Bryce Young finally does good? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. And it's it's kind of it's it's crazy how they beat the Texans. And I actually did get that game right. I picked the Panthers with the points, but I just didn't expect it. Um. But yeah, uh, I'll take uh, I'll take the Titans here. I'll lay the three and a half. Then we got the Cardinals and the Rams. Right now, that's a pick 'em. Uh, right, it, it was uh, the Rams were two and a half point favorites, but now it went down to uh, a pick 'em. And the Rams usually beat the Cardinals. Um, I don't know. I I, I got to uh, this one. I got to think about it a little bit more. I think I have the Rams right now, um, but. That could change. That could change. Um, we'll see if uh, also, you know, it'll, it's all going to uh, come down to also Cooper Cup's health too, I think. Because um, if he doesn't play, you know, that, that definitely, you know, helps the Cardinals, of course, because he always kills them. Um, so right now, I think, who do I have right now? I have, right now I have the Rams. So, um, but I could change that. Then we got the Browns and the Broncos. Browns are two and a half point underdogs coming in at seven and three. Broncos five and five. Big win over the Vikings. I like the Broncos to continue uh, uh, this trend. I, I I like them to win this game. You know, going up against a rookie quarterback, their defense has been playing better. I uh, I, I and um, you know Russell Wilson. We talked about him before. He hasn't been bad this year. I like them to continue their winning streak. Now they did beat the Vikings by only a point. So that could happen in this game. And, you know, the Browns have a good defense. So, but you know what? I like the Broncos here. I'm not that confident in it, but I, I think they continue. Uh, I'm going to lean towards taking them this week. So then we move on to uh, the next game. I actually wanted to check um, something here. So the Chargers are getting four and a half. In the late in the late game, but now it's gone down to three and a half. So, could subject I I might change that pick. Possibly, um. So you got the Chiefs and the Raiders. Raiders right now nine point underdogs at home. Chiefs bad loss, uh, rough loss against the uh, the Eagles. No points scored in the second half. Yeah, they've been struggling. And the Raiders, they, you know, they've been playing better. They only lost to the Dolphins by seven. Nine point underdogs. Um, I don't know. Right now, I like the Chiefs to bounce back here. I, I mean, I, I think this should be a get-right game for them. Um, this is a team that they've owned. But, you know, the offense hasn't been great recently. So, uh, I don't know. But right now, I'll take the Chiefs to win and cover. Then we got a good game here, Bills and Eagles. Bills are getting three and a half points. Eagles coming off of that big win against the Chiefs. Listen, the Bills... They got a much-needed win against the Jets. Um, but I look at the Eagles right now as the best team in football. The Bills are dealing with some injuries. I, I could see Josh Allen turning the ball over because that always happens. Um, Eagles are at home. I, I think they win and cover. Um, I'm hoping it's a good game, though. Um, but we'll see. Uh, but I let, right now, I like the Eagles. And uh, we'll see uh, you know, what happens the rest of the week, how this line, if it, this line moves or not. But... I got the Eagles. I, I'm confident the Eagles will win, but, you know, the Bills could definitely keep it close. So we'll see. Then we got the Ravens and the Chargers. The line opened up to 4.5. Now it's down to 3.5. I like the Ravens to win. Um, we'll see where this line moves again throughout the week. Um, right now I have them in the spread pool. Um, but, you know, with the Chargers, they could put up a lot of points at home. Um, they could definitely keep this game close. So I might switch it. Obviously, um, you know, the Ravens are going to be without Mark Andrews, who actually might be back before the end of the season. So they initially said that he, it was a season-ending injury, the ankle injury, but supposedly he might be back. 
So that would be big if they can get him back. But it would be it's right now it says expect a return as week seventeen. And then Odell Beckham Jr. dealing with the shoulder injury. Uh, he's questionable for the game. So the Ravens are going to be without some key pieces on offense. Um, but the Chargers' defense is just so bad. Um, but listen, like, they they could put up points. So they could definitely keep it close. And, you know, Brandon Staley's on the hot seat right now. Um, you know, the Chargers, they've lost back-to-back -back heartbreakers. Um, so, you know, we'll see what happens this weekend. I might change it. Right now I have the Ravens. I might change it. Um, but that's... Uh, that's all the games uh, for this weekend. Actually, we'll run through some of the big games in college football. So Michigan right now, three-and-a-half-point favorites over Ohio State. Uh, they're at home. This one's going to be tough. Both really good defenses. I mean, right now, again, I'm not an expert when it comes to college football. I'd take the points. Um, now, who to win, though, is the question. I'm going to take Ohio State to win. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'll take them to win. There's a lot going on in Michigan right now, as we you know we talked about it yesterday. Um, but, yeah, it is rivalry, rivalry week. I don't know why I'm I, – I keep struggling to say it. Rivalry week. That's what it is this week. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying it like that. But it's I, – I, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble saying it. But, uh, it yeah. And then you got Alabama and Auburn – um yeah i'm just going at like the you know the bigger games here um they're 14 and a half point favorites against auburn auburn six and five uh i mean alabama should cover right uh i mean i, I would take them to win uh 14 and a half you know i mean some of these like the you know tennessee is a 27 point favorite over vanderbilt this one's 14 and a half. Um, take Alabama to win, of course. Um, but I don't know. The 14 and a half, is that, you know, too much? I don't know. Let, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, you know, and I know a lot of people are talking about, you know, Florida maybe upsetting Florida State now because Florida State's quarterback is out. Um, right now they're six and a half point underdogs. So, yeah, and they're the home team. So, I, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Georgia's a... 24 point favorite against georgia tech i mean probably take georgia to win and cover um you know then you got north carolina against north carolina state north carolina state is a two and a half point underdog um yeah that one that one looks like a, that, that's a tough game um i mean maybe you take unc maybe I don't know. I'm, I'm just throwing things out there. But, uh, yeah, you know, throw a little bit of college in there because, um, you know, big week for college football as well. Um, but, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about the games uh, this weekend for Thanksgiving. I wish everybody a happy and safe Thanksgiving. I hope, you know, whatever you, whatever you all are doing, um, enjoy it with your family. A lot to be thankful for. Um, and, yeah, I will see you guys on Monday. Um, so that is all the time that we have for today. Uh, I thank you guys for tuning in. Um, again, I wish everybody a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Like I just said, enjoy it. No show tomorrow, no show Friday. We'll be back on Monday. So until then, uh, take care, enjoy the games, and uh, happy Thanksgiving.